uh, Ehlers Danlos, E D S, Ehlers Danlos, E H L E R S, Ehlers, and then capital D A N L O S, Ehlers Danlos. Ehlers Danlos is a genetic disorder, um, and there are many levels of it. Uh, one way to know that somebody has Ehlers Danlos is you watch these uh, people in um, circuses, like uh, Cirque du Soleil, where they do all these contortions. Well, they have, they have loose ligaments. And they can bend their joints in many different ways. If you can, if you can take your thumb and bring it all the way down to your hand, to your, to your arm rather, they probably you have EDS. Certainly you have ligamentous laxity. So that's another term that's used for ligamentous laxity. Um, again, there are different levels of severity of EDS. Everybody with EDS develops arthritis. Everybody. It's only a question of time. So it depends on the severity of the EDS. It can, and it at, often happens very early in life. People know about it early in their lives. Uh, in their teens, very often, they will know that they've got this problem. Sometimes you don't recognize it because of the milder forms of it. You don't recognize it until you're in your late 20s or 30s. So if you started to develop arthritis in your 30s, then that's unusual. Then that needs to be evaluated. And EDS may be one of those contributing factors. Now, PEMF therapy doesn't reverse EDS. But what it does is, again, it gives the muscles more energy to work. It helps to decrease the inflammation that's associated with that laxity. So if the ligaments are lax, if you've got a knee, if you imagine your knee, you're walking, your knee's got to sit properly on itself, and it's got to stay in position. So you can't have a knee that's going like this. So you see that also in people who have um, wiped out their collateral ligaments, or, or ACLs or PCLs. So the same thing happens. You get this laxity. Well, that kind of, that, that wears and tears a joint, puts a lot of stress on the ligaments around that joint, and those that ligament stress then contributes to the arthritic development in that joint as well. So the treatment then is magnetic field therapy. And for this particular situation, including myasthenia gravis, I do recommend whole body magnetic therapy. And because of the severity of EDS, I think a high intensity, a higher intensity of whole body magnetic system is probably the most important. And the one I recommend is the Parmeds Pro Special. And then if you have other problems like, mul like multiple ch chemical sensitivity or fibromyalgia, um, chronic fatigue syndrome, then you may need something called the Parmeds Super. And the Parmeds Super, you attach it to a PC and then you can control the frequencies. That can, you can control the frequencies you can control the intensity and you can control the treatment time. The standard treatment protocol on the Parmeds Pro Special is typically about 30 minutes. But you're kind of locked into those 10 programs that are in it and that can work for you. But I found over the years that you need a lot more control and that's why the Super. So the Parmeds Super is basically the same machine as the Parmeds Pro, but you do have the ability then to attach a PC to it that allows you to control, uh, have much more control and flexibility over the system. There is another system that is in, in its own way somewhat similar, and that is the Sedona Pro or the MAS. I don't recommend the MAS or the Sedona Pro because I think that they're more expensive than they're worth for the cost. Um, so they only have a magnetic field intensity for the smaller applicator of about 100 Gauss, and the large body pad is only about 25 Gauss. I already mentioned the ParMed's home system which is 70 Gauss for the whole body pad and 200 Gauss for the smaller applicator. And it's got 10 programs to choose from. So I don't think the selectivity is worth the cost, the extra cost for these two other systems. And I used to carry them. I used to have them on our, on our website, but I found that I, could, I couldn't in conscience recommend them to people for the costs that they are or the benefits that you're gonna get. So the ParMeds Home System is a better value and the ParMeds Super is a much better value. So the ParMeds Pro Special has a magnetic field intensity for the whole body pad of 150 Gauss. And the smaller applicator, the B-coil it's called, is 1,000 Gauss. So you're talking about 1,000 and 170 versus, these, again, many of these systems, the whole body systems are one Gauss or less. And all, almost the same cost. All right, so for um, EDS then, I do recommend a, whole, a higher intensity whole body system that you're going to need to use for the rest of your life because EDS, as I said, is, is genetic and it's gonna be there for the rest of your life. So the sooner you start using magnetic field therapy, 
if somebody is known to have it and in their they're in their twenties, hopefully not earlier, but it's, so you know that you have it in your twenties, then you better you better get going now because the arthritis you're going to have when you're 35 and 40 can be pretty significant. So start treatment with P PMS right away. There are no good medical therapies for EDS. There's no medical therapies for it. I would also recommend something like adding collagen, MSM, glucosamine pedroitin. These are all um, uh, Mariva or uh, um, curcumin with by, uh, black pepper extract. All of these are very important to help to keep the inflammation load down in the body as well.